because we like didn't have anything, we, we have to come up with something just to survive. Last summer at night, so we just entered on foot the trench line when the Russian drone came right overhead. We could hear it overhead very clearly. A screen of war, the tension of drone warfare. The screen flickers, static crackles. A young soldier stares, his face illuminated by the cold light. Each pixel holds a life, a potential target. We've seen how the war has developed and how the machinery of war has developed, which has been incredibly quickly. The most significant is the development of drone warfare. The drone's hum is a constant reminder. This is modern warfare, raw, digital, and terrifyingly real. Out there in the darkness, a Russian tank rumbles, unaware of the eye watching from above. The soldier's finger tightens on the control stick, every breath an echo of the conflict raging around him. This is the new face of war. The soldier knows the stakes. Every mission could be his last. The Russians are relentless, their firepower overwhelming, but he also knows the power he holds. In his hands, a tool that can level the playing field. He is part of a new breed of warrior, fighting not with brute force, but with ingenuity and courage. He is the digital David to the Russian Goliath. He takes a deep breath, steeling himself for the fight. The drone's camera pans, revealing the stark landscape. A desolate battlefield, scarred by explosions and littered with the debris of war. This is his reality now. A reality where technology is a lifeline and every decision could mean the difference between victory and defeat. The soldier locks onto the target, his heart pounding in his chest. He whispers a silent prayer, a plea for strength and for mercy. Then, with a flick of his wrist, he unleashes the fury of his digital arsenal. The world watches in disbelief as the conflict in Ukraine rages on. Russia, a global superpower, unleashing its military might against a smaller, outgunned nation. The odds seem insurmountable. Tanks rumble across the plains, their cannons spitting fire. Jets scream overhead, leaving trails of smoke and destruction in their wake. The sheer scale of the Russian war machine is staggering. It's a modern-day David and Goliath story, but this is not a biblical tale of slingshots and divine intervention. This is a story of human resilience, of innovation born out of necessity. In the face of overwhelming force, Ukraine has turned to technology, not as a weapon of mass destruction, but as a force multiplier, a way to even the odds against a formidable enemy. They call it guerrilla tech. And they uh, used uh, simple civilian drones. A scrappy, adaptable approach to warfare that has taken the world by surprise. It's a fusion of civilian ingenuity and military necessity, a testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt and overcome even in the direst of circumstances. This is not a war fought solely on the battlefields, but in the minds of engineers, coders and everyday citizens turned tech warriors. In workshops and basements, they are crafting the tools of resistance, transforming readily available technology into instruments of war. Drones, once used for aerial photography, now rain down explosives on enemy convoys. Smartphone apps, once designed for social media, now guide artillery strikes with pinpoint accuracy. This is the democratization of warfare, where innovation trumps industrial might, and the underdog fights back with every byte of code and every soldered circuit board. adapting to survive the, the rise of guerrilla tech. Guerrilla warfare is as old as conflict itself. It is the art of the underdog, the strategy of the outmatched. But in the digital age, guerrilla warfare has taken on a new dimension. This is no longer just about hit and run tactics and blending in with the population. This is about using technology to outsmart, outmaneuver and ultimately outlast a larger, more powerful enemy. Ukraine's guerrilla tech strategy is a testament to this evolution. It's a recognition that in the 21st century, the battlefield is everywhere, and the most potent weapon is often the one you least expect. It's about leveraging readily available technology, adapting it to the specific needs of the conflict, and deploying it with speed and precision. This is not about billion-dollar weapon systems or vast armies. It's about agility, innovation, and the courage to fight asymmetrically. The impact is undeniable. Russian forces, trained and equipped for traditional warfare, have been caught off guard by the Ukrainians' technological prowess. 
Their tanks, once symbols of invincibility, are now vulnerable to drone strikes. Their communication systems, once thought to be impenetrable, are now susceptible to hacking and disruption. The element of surprise, a cornerstone of guerrilla warfare, has been amplified by technology. Delta eyes in the sky, victory on the ground. In the heart of the Ukrainian resistance lies a digital nerve center, a battlefield management system unlike any other Delta. This cloud-based marvel is the brainchild of Ukrainian tech experts, a testament to their ingenuity and determination. Delta is more than just software, it's a force multiplier, a digital guardian angel watching over Ukrainian troops. Imagine a giant digital map constantly updating with enemy movements, friendly positions and critical infrastructure. Now picture that map accessible to every soldier, every unit, every commander on the ground. That's the power of Delta. It's a real-time information hub providing unprecedented situational awareness to Ukrainian forces. But Delta is not just about defense. It's about coordinating swift, decisive counterattacks. The system allows Ukrainian troops to share intelligence instantly, directing artillery strikes with pinpoint accuracy and ambushing enemy convoys with deadly efficiency. It's the ultimate example of network-centric warfare, where information is power and the ability to share that information seamlessly is the key to victory. Delta's impact is undeniable. It has been credited with disrupting Russian offensives, saving countless Ukrainian lives, and giving the defenders a crucial edge in the fight for their nation's survival. This cutting-edge technology is revolutionizing how we approach collaborative missions. Nobody can afford to ignore the lessons learned on the battlefield with drone warfare. And they've totally transformed warfare now from here on in. And we're talking about you know, non-state groups like the Houthis or Hamas, which they're already deploying attack drones. By integrating multiple systems into a single cohesive platform, it enhances communication and efficiency. Imagine a seamless operation where every team member is connected and informed in real time. The Avengers platform is not just a tool, it's a game changer in strategic planning and execution. First-person view drones, or FPVs, are transforming reconnaissance and surveillance operations. With real-time video feeds, operators can navigate complex environments with unprecedented precision. And in the realm of naval technology, advancements are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. From autonomous vessels to advanced underwater detection systems, the future of naval operations is here. These innovations are not just enhancing capabilities, but also ensuring greater safety and efficiency on the seas. When faced with challenges, human ingenuity shines brightest. From the heat of battle to the harshest environments, our capacity to adapt and innovate is truly unparalleled. In the realm of warfare, technology has always played a pivotal role. From ancient times to modern conflicts, advancements in technology have not only determined the outcomes of battles, but also reshaped the very nature of warfare itself. The evolution of weaponry, communication systems and defense mechanisms continues to drive military strategy and tactics. It's in the face of adversity that our resilience and innovative spirit are most evident. Whether it's overcoming natural disasters, economic crises or global pandemics, humanity's ability to bounce back and create solutions is nothing short of extraordinary. Innovation is not just about creating new technologies, it's about finding new ways to solve problems and improve lives. As we look to the future, it's clear that the challenges we face will require even greater levels of innovation and collaboration. Each of us has a role to play in shaping the future. Whether you're an engineer, a scientist, a policymaker, or simply a concerned citizen, your actions can make a difference. Let's come together, harness our collective ingenuity, and build a better world for generations to come.